this we actually like taped my boobies so they were in place. I did not. I was on these steps, these green steps, because I was like, I want to be on top of my dollhouse. And my mom was like, Arch! And I was like, Arch! and But it looks really good. Arch! Arch! From Amazon Music, it's the walk-in, honey! Legendary children, it's the one and only Mo Hart, and we are back with another episode of The Walk-In in Los Angeles. Today, we are going to the closet of the doll, the dream herself, Miss Megan Trainer. Megan Trainer is a Grammy-winning pop singer and songwriter who became a household name after the release of her 2014 smash hit, All About That Face. Megan's signature sound and authentic lyrics are empowering a new generation of fans across the globe. Let's go see. Megan! <laughs> How are you? Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, let me just sing your praises. Tell the world so y'all can hear this. From every drag queen, we say thank you, okay? Because we have made so much money from you. I'm so serious. You came out with All About That Bass, boom, 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 right? Boom, boom. Then you came out with Me Too, and that was the one, right? I don't know, like, one drag queen that has not performed your song, and so I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to thank all the drag queens for picking my song. Yes! i yes. never forget Sam Smith took me to, like, one of my first, like, real drag shows, yes. and they sang Me Too, and Sam was like, here, here's some yes. drag go up there, and I was like, okay! It is the best it. time of my life. Yes, yeah, so thank you so much. You. I'm so excited to be here with you and to go through your closet. I know, right? I have a closet. Are you ready to go through it? I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I, I hope you like it. it. I love you. <gasps> Oh my gosh, Megan, we are so excited to be in the closet! Welcome to my home. Just to be in your presence, like, grab me, I've been in my house bopping to Miss Megan Train. I'm you know, so to be you. here. Just... What is it? What is it? Hot sauce and heels. Ah! Slay. She knows my song! Don't scream it! You say. Oh my gosh, thank Dinko you. Great thank you. Okay, but this is about okay. you. So this is the segment that we call the Fashion Rewind, where we get to find out like who Bible. you were in the beginning. Who so was we're gonna I? start here. This was for Pride. Okay, one of which my Pride? favorite shows I've ever done, LA Pride. Which one? 2019? Yeah. Oh, Pre-COVID. 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 The world. This was like a big deal for me because mm -hmm. I am so insecure and I never show like arms and legs. And this was like showing legs through the fishnet and the arms. And I was I like, live. for pride. I and I've never live. got more love in my entire life. And the back was a thong. Yes. Could you imagine? I literally wear granny panties. I never wear thongs. I am a grandmama. And so for the show, like my poor brother had to like film me the whole time. But I was like, I pew, yes. in a thong. And they, I've never heard a louder scream from the crowd. I <laughs> like live. all the beautiful ladies showing oh their bodies. God. Tell me about this. this OK, fun. yes, here we go. We're at People's Choice Awards. Okay. I've been to twice, I think, but this one I won an award, and I got to wear Balmain. How do you say it? Balmain. 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 Well, which one is it? Balmain. 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 I've been saying Balmain. What do you say? Because I'll just say what you say. I go Balmain. Bal. No, which one is it? What is it? Which you one is know? it? Is it Balmain? Balmain. Balmain. Also, then. Oh, Balmain. Balmain. It's French, right? Right, right. We still slayed, and it was Boom. the first time showing my booty. I live. I show my legs, and I got my award. What was your first like designer purchase after you released oh, your purchase? Yeah. Oh, not for years. I had to learn what everything was. I remember like I finally got into Gucci. Gucci was like my first love. Yes. When I was like mid twenties, and okay. I finally made money, and uh -huh. was like, okay, what do I do with it? Yeah. And I would buy like backpacks and bags and yeah. sneakers. Yeah. Because I was like, I can fit in these. Right. <laughs> these are simple. Also, you don't feel bad. Like, I bought a Gucci t-shirt, wore it once, now it's no, dingy. No, I would never buy a Gucci t-shirt. I bought oh, a hoodie I'll buy. Right. Because they last. That part. Hours. That part. See, you ha it has to make sense. It has to make sense. Make it make sense. That part. Yeah. Now this one. Ooh. Alexander McQueen. <gasps> The great, literally the great Alexander McQueen. Isn't it stunning? So tell me, <laughs> this is for that you had the barbs. This, yes, the barbs. This was for my song "Nice to Meet Ya" off my last album, "Treat Myself," featuring the Queen, the legendary Nicki Minaj. Did y'all do it in studio together? Or no, time? she records so fast, and mm. she literally did it in a day and sent it to me, and I was like, it's perfect. And then the music video, she came in. Her team was like, watch this. She did one or two takes uh -huh. and, and they were like perfect done like she just knows you know what yeah, i mean yeah 
And I was screaming and I was like, we're not worthy, please go home. <laughs> but we also on set, we were talking about like, I want kids. She was like, I want a baby. I was like, I want a baby. And then we went and made baby boys. Yeah! That's so cute. Gosh. Yeah, she's the best. Okay, Ooh. this Christian, oh, this goes on top of that. There's a lot of parts. Oh. So Christian Cowan <gasps> is incredible, right? We love him. I love him. And he just has a crazy brain that makes so much sense. I wore this in my music video for holidays featuring Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yes! As could you imagine? That's a real sentence, that whole thing. And I was five months pregnant, so I was like insecure because I was like, oh, I'm at an awkward place where it's like, is it a bump or is it, yeah. like a, <laughs> is it dinner? You know, is it lunch? It was too heavy. Is she bloated or is she right, pregnant? Right, right. <laughs> so I was like, we should just make it a big present. Like, I'm a bow. And I was like, Christian Cowan is bow, bow, bow. Uh -huh. So he made this for me. This is like this, and then uh -huh. that went over my belly. Oh, so it went here. It was like diagonal too. Yeah. So did you do a Christmas card in this lovely look? Well, my Christmas album was called A Very Trainer Christmas, which uh, is my family yeah. trainer. So for the packaging, it was like my family members in matching PJs. And that was kind of like my Christmas card. I was just handing out albums. <laughs> it was so cute. <laughs> okay, talking about packages, what is this one behind you? Oh, uh, yeah. This was also part of my Christmas album promo. This was in the Holidays music video with Earth, Wind & Fire. I was like, I want to be Katy Perry and I want to be a box. I want to be a present. And I no. felt like Katy Perry because she's my idol. Right? And I saw your episode with her and it was so good. And this has been amazing getting to know the story in the beginning, the fashion rewind. But now we're going to spin to the future. <laughs> and now we are here. This is fabulous. You might not get it back, so tell me about it. You can have it. Oh. Um, this is part of the album photo shoot for the new album, Taking It Back. Um, this is a skirt, and then we showed tummy cardboard. It's hard to put on, but it's so cute. And I just love that it gave me the vibes of like title back in the day, my first yes. album, but it was like modern and yes. like cool and fashion. What shoes did you wear with these? Uh, you know the pink Versace the ones? Pink Versace. Shoes. We got fake ones that looked like those. Yeah. And then I wore them Boom. on the photo shoot. Tell us about this look, because this is gorgeous. This pretty and pink. Custom, this? custom made. VC. 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 Ooh. We're having a pink moment right now for my song, Made You Look. Okay. And for the Today Show for album week, I'm always wearing a black cat suit on the Today Show because it's 6 a.m. Yes. You wake up at 3 for Glenn. It is cold in New York. Yes. And the camera angles are like up here, yes. you know? So nothing is flattering. So yes. we're like, let's wear black. Let's just hide and be cold. But for this, I was like, I'll do a bodysuit, but I want it to be pop star. I want it to say, I made you look. Mm -hmm. And so we did a full tight cat suit and yeah. then put a glitter suit over it. And I felt like so beautiful. And I wore these shoes to match it. And you could see they got all reffed up because I actually got on my <laughs> Hands and knees, and I crawl down to see all the fans. I love this. Okay, okay this, this is a lovely two piece. I wanted to show more body. I'm in here for you, and you like feeling I'm a curvy girl, but baby, I'm here. What's good? Well, I, I had a baby, and then I've never been smaller. You know, I lost like 60 pounds for this. So I, I was like, I gotta show off something. I've been working so hard. And this was for the Made You Look um, music video dance scene at the end. Okay. We wore this, and we shot in the same room as All About That Bass. Yes! I like, so didn't even mean to. Yeah, and I was like literally crying because I was like, this is a moment. Aww. And I never felt more cool and I did my little dance. Yeah! Tell me about this album and like, what's the inspiration? What's the vibe? You haven't put out music since what, the pandemic, correct? Yeah. I just like wanted to stop like chasing radio because I was like, what, what will they play? Mm -hmm. And then I noticed on TikTok, Tidal was blowing up yeah. for my first album ever and my doo-wop stuff. Another songwriter was like, some artists are coming in saying they want to do the Megan Trainor sound. And I was like, what's that? The doo-wop? And they were like, yeah. And I was like, easy. I could do this in my okay, sleep. Yeah. So I wrote this song, Don't I Make It Look Easy? Because I was like a mom with a young baby throwing all this crap in the car. And I was like, OK, let's go to the studio. Your writing skills, I will say, you, you go, when I read the lyrics and then you sing them, you're like, I can do this. <laughs> and then I try to be like, Mm, it's maybe like, not. well, it's like witty. It's it's like it, it funny is. stuff, which is all you all day long. Yeah. So yes, you could do it. Okay, we'll try. I'll do the Megan trainer boot camp session. Tell me about this. This is gorgeous. I mean, this is a Balenciaga. Oh. Because I said, mm -hmm. for this album, I want to ball out mm -hmm. and be fancy. Because my song is like, I could have my Gucci on, my yeah. Louis Vuitton. I was like, I want the fancy, fancy brands, and I want you to put them on my body. Yeah. And I just rock a cat suit. So this, we actually like 
taped my boobies so they were in place, and then I had to just Photoshop the tape away. So yeah. I couldn't see it. And my hoo-ha was fully out that day for everyone involved. So my brother left the room. I could not. I was on these steps, these green steps, because I was like, I want to be on top of my dollhouse, like my perfect life. Yeah. And my mom was like, arch, and I was like, ah! And, but it looks really good. Arch! Arch! <laughs> now, this one is very... Also nude. Maybe. I mean, like, maybe we can see it all. We can see it all. So oh, this... you know, Megan, I'm here for you. I... You know that I'm in my hot girl era. So I had a baby and now I'm naked. Hot look. Okay, I'm naked come forward. Um, so this was for Bad For Me, my first single off this album, Taking a Bag, with Teddy Swims. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I want to show my body. I'm really hot. And I got my period that day. And I was like, but I'm naked wearing all white. But I did it and I survived. You still did it! I was like, can you see my string? What? Women can do anything, baby. They can Women do can anything. anything! And I was screaming to the whole room. I was like, ah, oh, I'm playing it! You know, I was like, I just wanted to feel tight and small today in this naked outfit. But they put flowers in my hoo-ha area, mm -hmm. you know, and my boobies mm -hmm. to cover up mm -hmm. everything. So I felt sexy. Check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us about this one, because this, this is the one. Is this the one? This is the one. This I wore on Jimmy Fallon yeah. to perform Made You Look. I was so terrified because Taylor Swift was on that day and the crowd screamed so loud for her like it was the Beatles. Yeah. And I was like, oh, T-Swift fans are here. And I was so nervous because I was like, well, are they going to know me? You know, like going after her. I was like, hello. And they were so nice. And I was just so nervous because I knew a lot of people would watch that episode. Yeah. But also this area for me, I got my period that day. So I was just like, boo, you know, I had crazy cramps. Oh, the cramps. I but thought I you slayed. were going to say you had a reveal. And I was about to say, ah! <laughs> had a pop a string. No, I wore like two sets of tights just in case that would okay. happen. You know, I was like, let's seal it up. And the shoes The are shoes. Because right. these are pretty comfortable. Size I know no one. 23, so that's a seven. That's, oh, I was like, 23. Yeah. Um, she's a seven after the pregnancy. All the cute shoes. All the cute shoes. Hateful. Sorry. <laughs> Hateful. I was like, you can have it. Yeah, my foot can't even get yeah. in. What can fans expect on this project? She's just more confident. She's a mom. She's been through more. Mm. She is me. I'm finally like really happy and comfortable and, and finally loving clothes again, yeah. you know? And just want to slay and show more. I live. Yeah. Here you go. When you did the, the Me Too album, I felt like you were coming into yours and then boom, you had a baby. I do remember that. I went red hair, then I went to like a downhill spiral of like crazy anxiety panic attacks uh -huh. and was like, well, that's a wrap. I'm done. And then I crawled my way out of it and got help and really took care of myself. And you could see it on me. I look happier. I got new teeth. And I've just never felt prettier and happier and I've got a hold of my anxiety yeah. and a lot of people were like, if you have a kid, your life is over and it's their life. I'm like, no baby, I've just begun. And like nothing can stop me. The facts are real! Yes, you are right. Megan, this has been so amazing. Thank <laughs> you so much for just opening up your closet, giving me the Balenciaga. You're right. All of this is for you. <laughs> but Thank before you. you go, I do want to play a little game with you. I love games. Here we go. We are going to play a little game where I ask you questions inspired by your music. Like I'm going to lose you. What is one item that you're always losing. My phone. <laughs> what do you always lose? A nail. A nail. Every five seconds. A shoe, a hip pad. There we go. <laughs> Better when I'm dancing. What is your go-to song that gets the dance party started? Anything by Beyonce? Okay. Uh, the new one, yeah, the cuff it one. Ah! Don't I make it look easy? What part of motherhood do you feel you are absolutely crushing? Oh, that I'm crushing? Mm -hmm. I was like lining up the fails. Okay. <laughs> that I'm crushing? crushing? That's like making him laugh. Mm. This is sad. I don't know. And like he's really good at the kisses. Yeah. I'm like, give him my kiss. Oh. And he goes, oh my God. <laughs> Hi. It's so cute. The whole mouth. The, the whole, whole mouth. mouth. What has been the most surprising thing about marriage? Oh, that it gets better. Oh. I know that's not for everyone, but we we just get closer and closer and, and more like best friends. When we go to bed at night, we just giggle and laugh till we fall asleep. And it's yeah. like, I get to have a slumber party with my best friend. That's what our marriage is like. <laughs> oh, can that be relationship goals? Yeah, right? Yeah. He really yes. is. He's a king. I, I really do love that. Yes. Last one, last one. Made you look. When do you feel sexiest? Every time I get in the shower, my husband's there somehow, and he's just like, oh my God, you know, he's like, you look amazing. Uh, so, 
God has blessed you. Increase yeah. on increase. This was amazing. Ah! Ah! Megan, this has been so fun. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Thank you, and congrats on your new show. I love this show. I've seen every episode. You slay. Thanks to everyone who's listened to the new album, Taking It Back, and for making TikToks for Made You Look. Megan, this has been so much fun. I, I want love to say you. thank you for letting us into your closet. Thanks for looking at I my really clothes. I really want to say thank you for the rawness and transparency. Like, I love you. I love you. Thank you so much for watching The Walking. <laughs> thank you so much for watching this week's episode of The Walking. Click here to subscribe and click here to watch more episodes of The Walking. And click here to listen to Taking It Back on Amazon Music. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye.